What do you tell the MMA fans who are excited of the prospect that they're now fighting in 8-ounce gloves as opposed to 10-ounce gloves? And they think, oh, a knockout by Conor McGregor is more probable now because they have smaller gloves. True. Both guys, I mean, well, McGregor is, 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 everybody knows Floyd hand situation. He'd been open about that even before we got to this point. But McGregor might have an advantage because, to my knowledge, I don't think he has any hand problems. And eight ounce gloves is, is, is I don't know the last time Floyd had eight ounce gloves on, but it was a long time ago. That could be a factor. But again, this is all coming down to whether it's a boxing match or it's a show. I even go deep in the dictionary and tell you it's a spectacle. <laughs> and um, that's what it is. If you want to be entertained, boxing to have something with slash with the uh, entertainment involved in, and that's uh, this Saturday. But if you want to see a fight, HBO Championship Boxing. And the thing is, it's not like it's so easy for me to say that and be a promoter. But you know that Cotto is in for a fight Saturday, and vice versa, his opponent. This is not a walk-in for Cotto. You know that. Yeah. No one have said that that I've talked to leaving Philadelphia this morning. Last week I was in New York and here in L in L.A. That's a fight. And if you go a couple of weeks further, we know it's, we ain't gonna compare uh, the, the 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 conversation between Triple G and and Canelo. I mean, let's keep it 100. Um, but. There are, there is a market for entertainment. Wrestling is huge. The MMA fans is gonna, they gonna buy because that's what they fans. They fans of in, in MMA and you know, something may happen that ain't supposed to happen. That's always curiosity never really, I believe they say curiosity kills the, kills the cat. Every time I was curious, I was right. It never killed me. <laughs> So I don't know who so I don't know who came up with that philosophy, but you know, I'm only speaking for me. I just think that when you look at the remaining of the months of the year, 2017, fast approaching 2018, boxing is being, whether we like it, whether you disagree or agree, it's being talked about on mainstream and really non boxing fans because of the McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. Now, what I'm expecting, not hoping, is when people hear boxing, they don't go away right away. Then they're gonna hear about what? Canelo mm -hmm. and Triple G. Because however boxing is being put out there, a sport I love for 28 years, almost 30, since nine years old, has on a, it's on a TV late night shows, Thank you, Floyd. Thank you, McGregor, for putting boxing conversation, where there's a show, entertainment, people are talking about it. And it can spill over to other venues of name boxing that people will, oh, I know that name, oh, that's a tough fight, I'm gonna watch it. Normally, they probably go out on a Saturday with their wife or whatever and have dinner. So, to me, thank you, McGregor and Floyd, for bringing attention to, to boxing and really in a positive form. You can disagree to agree, but thank you for sharing the light. So now that only thing we got to do is promote the best fights and have quality competition for fighters now to prove themselves and be able to have uh, the audience in the world of boxing make a choice on whether they want to follow Golden Boy Promotion Boxing or they want to continue to follow others. They have the choice. They got the power. The fights that they don't like, that they think is staged, they think press conferences are scripted, then they have the choice not to buy it. And that's what we want to put out there. I'm going to go back again. There's four faces in this crowd that I said this a year and a half ago because they haven't been in two years yet that we want to pin on the best fights. Golden Boy want to pin on the best shows and the best fights, fighting the guys
fight each other. And they got to be willing to fight and take a risk on losing a 0-0, over 12-0 or 15 record, or even 30-0 record against a guy that has maybe one loss out of 30 fights himself, or no losses. This is going to happen. Don't, don't come to Golden Boy for a free ride. We're not, we're not giving a free ride. We're not going to pad the records up so we can say you're the greatest and you're not. So we said that. It haven't been two years yet. Fast approaching, but it haven't been two years yet. I'm not being braggadocious. What I'm saying is, I'm reminding those who have short memories when you're doing what you say you're going to do, but have quick memories when you don't do what you say, when you didn't do what you say you was going to do. So I'm just reminding people again, stay tuned. Um, next year, it's going to be even better. We in competition with us, not no one else. When you're in competition with yourself, you will never get bored. You will never get relaxed on a hill. You know that you have to beat the last show, the last year. And numbers don't lie. Numbers tell you if you're doing great as a company. And that's what I'm about. Whether it's the ratings, whether it's the overall numbers of everything that has to be counted. That was a good way to put that, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, that, was good. Yeah. that was a good spit. <laughs> that that spit was pretty good. <laughs>